Despite a winter storm, we're traveling America's back roads again this week as we head to Farmer City, Illinois and Breakers 3. Inside Breakers 3, we sit down with singer-songwriter Zach Tompkins. This is Clubhouse Lounge Radio with back roads and bar stools. Welcome in, everybody, to Clubhouse Lounge Radio's Back Roads and Bar Stools. I'm Keith Gibson, and with me today is singer songwriter Zach Tuffin. Zach, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much for having me, Keith. Hey. I really appreciate it. Yep, we're here at Breakers Three in Farmer City. Zach, you play here quite a bit, uh, and you play a lot, a lot of places quite a bit. But uh, I do. I've uh, been fortunate over the last year to kind of start playing out live and things. Um, this all started probably. Just over a year ago, hitting up some open mics and things like that. Um, had some guys that were kind enough to get me up on stage at a few open mics over in B-Mint, uh, Jack Daniels, and Lee Ewers, uh, David Woolridge, and all those guys. Um, and that's just kind of where it took off from. And uh, then I've been lucky enough to get in places like Breakers, um, some other local bars. I play Thirsty Barrel in Mason City a lot. Those guys have been awesome to me. Um, and so I just look forward to kind of growing over the next next couple of years here and uh, but yeah, this is this is definitely kind of home for me. It's about 15 minute drive from my house, and uh, love playing here. This is always a good attentive crowd. And I love their decor. I mean, they got Cub stuff up here. I'm gonna do iHeart Cub and Bear stuff. So I love coming in here. It's well, they're always friendly. So yep. make sure you stop in in Farmer City, come into Breakers, get you a drink, enjoy some music on a Friday or Saturday night. It's great. Zach's here a lot. But uh, how'd you get started playing guitar and singing? So uh, so I started playing guitar, man, when I was really really little. Uh, my dad always played in like 80s hair metal bands and stuff. Um, and so that's that's what I grew up listening to was like Dokken and Firehouse, all that kind of stuff. Good and I was a little um, very, very different than what I play now. Uh, <laughs> man, my little my little sister's recording uh, bedroom was a recording studio before she was born and brought home. And uh, so I always kind of played and did that stuff with dad a little bit. Wish I would have paid a lot more attention to some of the stuff he tried to teach me. But uh, I just wanted to be able to shred and solo like like he and some of the other guys that I watched um, and then uh, started playing again, probably about two or three years ago, uh, just kind of playing some acoustic stuff, um, had a background in rodeo. And so some of my favorite stuff to listen to was, you know, really small independent artists from Texas music scene, uh, red dirt country scene, stuff like that. And so I, I was like, you know, I really want to be able to kind of put my spin on this. Um, and like I said, about two or three years ago slowly kind of started picking things back up uh and then about a year and a half ago um almost two years ago now uh my dad passed away and when when my dad passed away that kind of just catapulted me into i need some sort of release and i need something else to do that's that's healthy and productive um that i feel like i can reach other people and so that's when i really started writing my own music and and playing and putting myself out there um, and like i said over the last shoot year and a half i started at uh west end pub with jack daniel and then that's not a just, email, right yeah it was yep yeah. so it's it's still west end pub um jack doesn't run it or anything anymore but uh, at the time they're doing an open mic and i went and just checked that out one night and uh, happened to know uh lee ewers from a previous job and he was playing and everything and those guys were just so supportive and so nice had me get up and play and uh i've always kind of talked and joked since then i had the you know, there was maybe seven, eight people in the bar, but I had the biggest high for like two, three days after that. I really enjoyed it and went home and just started kind of hammering out, trying to learn as much as I could, um, going open for different guys. I, uh, I got to meet Matt Miller um, at a songwriter competition or a song songwriter swap that I went to. And we became really good friends. He's become a mentor to me, him and Allison. Um, I'm working are, with him, trying to have him on one of our You definitely, of our definitely needed to have him. Um, Matt is is doing a lot of good. He's one of those guys that's just, besides being a phenomenal musician and really going places in his career, um, him and Allison both, um, and a friend of ours, Caleb Atwood, just good people. Um, and it makes doing all this a lot of fun. It really does. So It's a um, rush playing in front of people, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yep. Especially when you finally start getting out there and people are you know, they kind of know some of your originals and you can look out in the crowd and see people singing your own original music back to you. Um, there's there's not much more that's more rewarding than that. And then the same thing, just, you know, you take a break and you get to talk to somebody and find out they had a similar background to you or that song connected with them for whatever reason. That's really what I've found is the most enjoyable. What's something that, that you, what's one of the most the original songs that you like really touches you? One of the ones that's like, 
is near and dear to your heart? Sure. So I would say probably the one that I, I really is near and dear to me that I needed to get out of my system is actually a single that I've got coming out. Um, it'll be out March 9th on all major streaming platforms. You can start pre-saving it uh, February 9th. And it's a song that I wrote called Shine Your Light. Um, it's I wrote the song about my dad, um, kind of from the perspective of, I hope that everything I'm doing you know, still makes him proud and that he's looking down on heaven from me um, and, and is proud of what I'm doing and the people that I'm reaching out and connecting with. And so that's, like I said, that's my single, Shine Your Light. Um, and it'll be out here in the next month or so. Really, really looking forward to playing that one live and getting that out on streaming platforms and stuff like that. We can't so. wait to have it on Clubhouse Lounge Radio either. And they will they view that and uh, perfect. make sure we get that out there for you. Because, you know, I know family's big important to you. Family's big important to me as well. Without family, we don't have, I don't have the support to do what I'm doing right here, right now. Um, so uh, thanks to my wife, by the way. Uh, yep, but, <laughs> absolutely. That's a good call. <laughs> uh, but, you know. With that, what's some of the other songs you like to play? I know you played you some covers too. What's what's some of your favorite songs you enjoy playing? Oh man, so I would say cover wise, some of my favorite stuff. Um, Ryan Bingham, Hallelujah, is one of those that I love playing. Um, it's neat because I think there's a lot of people around here that, you know, they listen to a lot of different music, not just kind of the mainstream stuff necessarily, which is is all great and has its place. Um, but it's really cool when you're you're at a bar and there's something that people really enjoy listening to but there's not a lot of guys that are playing it around here. You know, everybody plays the top 40 or 50 stuff. Um, it's really cool to play something like Ryan Bingham, Hallelujah, or play a Co Wetzel song or Cody Johnson song and see people kind of light up and go, oh, that's kind of cool that somebody else is playing that or, you know, enjoys that. Um, Cody Johnson's phenomenal act. I'm a big Cody yeah, Johnson fan. Yeah, his his new documentary that just came out, Dear Rodeo, is, is awesome, talking about his story and everything. Um, definitely a guy to, to look up to. Um, uh Corey Smith is one of that's probably one of my favorite songs um if I could do it again just kind of a good time party time song that takes you back to when you were in high school and making questionable decisions but having a good time and all that I, I'm, um, I'm gonna guess I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go a little further back than you in high school than you were a little bit okay, yeah. yeah yep just yeah. a touch so yeah. but well, yeah hair, hair give it away didn't it yep yeah well I don't have any hair anymore so it's all right you're beating me but uh, yeah, are some of the ones I really enjoy doing. Um, I've got a couple of new songs that are going to be coming out uh, in the next couple of months as well. So the whole plan is to just continue to release these singles um, over the next six months. I've got a guitarist, and a producer that I'm working with named Derek Price, and he's been phenomenal so far. Um, great guitar player. His <laughs> production and the he's kind of taken me under his wing. Um, I got a, a Chad and Brandon are doing drums and bass for me on all those tracks. And they have just been super, super supportive and um, kind of helping me really round out and fill out those songs outside of just an acoustic singer songwriter feel. So I really appreciate that. Let me ask you this. When you're, when you're writing mm -hmm. and you've got this beat in your head and you kind of want to know, you, you've got these words, you're going down, you're, how do you manage to put that into a guitar, into a drum, into, I mean, I, I, how's that work? Sure. So for me personally, it's all kind of come, it, it's usually one or two ways um, as far as writing. It's either lyrics that maybe kind of catch me. Sometimes I'm driving down the road and I pull over and I type a little note into my phone so I don't forget something or I kind of sing something into a voice memo on my phone so I don't forget it. Um, sometimes it starts that way and I find, you know, a, a good melody or a good chord progression that goes with that. Other times it's me sitting on the couch or sitting out by my barn or out by the pasture or something at home, kind of picking away and strumming at something. And I go, you know what? That sounds kind of cool. That feels like when I'm thinking about this or I'm processing this and then kind of whatever's on my heart at the time, um, you know, I think, okay, how can I portray that message in three or minutes to people where it's going to be relatable? Um, and that's how most of it's come out. As far as the, the rest of it, really fleshing things out and everything, um, having drummer and bass player and a guitar player that have a lot more in-depth musical background than I do um, and being willing to listen to those guys, that's what's helped me a ton so far. Um, you know, I may have something that I've played a thousand ways, you know, even live so far and Brandon or Chad or Derek Price or one of those guys will go, hey man, what if we just changed, and, you know, this bridge a little bit differently or we change this chord or kind of hang here a little bit longer. And it'll kind of change the whole feel of things. Um, and so that, that's been really, really exciting to see those things kind of fleshed out and see how they're, they're coming about. So 
like I said, uh, got a song. The next two we're record is Catching Memories um, and Those Drives. And Catching Memories is actually, that's one that we're all really, really excited about um, recording. It came about a, a buddy of mine, uh, Josh Jessup, went uh went on vacation posted a bunch of pictures on instagram of him and his kids fishing and somebody put it on there um hey man what did you guys catch or you know you get anything or whatever and josh just replied uh we didn't catch anything but a bunch of memories and for whatever reason that was really profound to me and just really really neat and so you're kind of asking about sometimes how how these songs come about right. or how they're written something as simple as me just hanging out and scrolling through facebook instagram or whatever and uh you know, seeing Josh reply, no, we didn't catch anything but memories. It's like, I got to write a song about that. Cause how many times has that happened that, you know, you've gone out and expected to do something one way and right. maybe got some great memories from it, but not the result. And so um, that song catching memories will be out here in the next couple of months. Uh, really looking forward to producing that. That's awesome. That sounds, that sounds, I love that. I love it. We're here at Rikers three here in farmer city with Zach Tompkins, back roads, bar stools. I'm Keith Gibson. Zach, I want to let, let you let the people know, where are you going to be playing at soon? And uh, what what kind of was on the horizon for you besides, you know, getting singles out? What's your long-term goals? Sure. So as far as upcoming shows and stuff, um, I've got several all within a couple hour drive at home. Um, obviously, Breakers 3 here in Farmer City um, has, has really kind of become home base for me. It really has. Um, Thirsty Barrel over in Mason City is, is the same. Um, you know, these are all people who kind of took me under their wings and gave me a place to start playing um and kind of get my feet wet and get started and they've been supportive since day one and i absolutely love them tony and amanda and tiffany and all them up here at breakers um they mean a lot to me dave and amanda Grimm at uh thirsty barrel in mason city there's been a lot of places that that i really really enjoy going and playing but those are are honestly a couple of my favorites um i'll be playing uh crowbar in decatur february 13th so a week from tomorrow i'll be there from one to three in the afternoon i gotta ask you that's valentine's day weekend there's gonna be some love songs play that night yeah we're gonna do our okay. best okay. yep we're gonna do our best so some heartbreak songs some love songs well, whatever know, we gotta do and then. yep if there's a heartbreak songs uh, thankfully you're at a bar so you can kind of wash away your sorrows if you have to um and then a week from then i'll be uh, back at thirsty barrel in mason city uh that is an awesome venue to be at really enjoy being there um and then back here at breakers three february 25th from 8 to 11 really hope you can make it out to that show after that um pretty excited i'm gonna make a make a quick run to Oklahoma uh, for about four days. So doing a little video series there uh, with Oki Records that I'm really excited about. It's called the Cabin Series. Um, and then hopefully playing a few different spots in Stillwater in Oklahoma City. That's awesome, um, man. So That's huge. Yeah, yeah, really excited about that. And that's kind of my goal heading forward is, you know, maybe try to find uh, places in a few yeah. spots in Texas, a few spots in Oklahoma and kind of get into those scenes. But uh, in all honesty, I've, I've really been thinking this last – probably a couple of weeks about uh, there's a lot of stuff I, I would like to do and artists that I look up to that are in those music scenes that I would love nothing more than to be the next guy in those scenes. But I also feel like there's, there's an obligation and there's something to be said about the music scene that's right here in central Illinois. And so really over the last couple of weeks, the last month, that's kind of become my new focus is build build this up here at home there's a lot of stories there's you know a lot of good salts of the earth people that are here in central illinois working that have a story to tell um and i hope that i can use my music to to maybe tell that story and connect with people so and that's exactly why we do this back roads and bar stools just like zach said there are tons of stories and tons of talented musicians out here in central and southern illinois and we're going to bring them to you every week right here on back roads and bar stools hopefully every week uh you know sometimes these musicians are you guys are working hard and you're playing everywhere but uh exactly thank you thank you for giving us the time well we wish you nothing but the best moving forward and uh you're gonna put here to, to close up the show how about that absolutely all right we'll take a quick break we'll come right back and we'll be back with zach and he's gonna play a song to uh, close up back roads and bar stools right here on clubhouse lounge radio kester homes is your full service real estate team they work all of champaign county and a full 60 mile radius around what really sets Kyle, Tiffany, and their team apart is they work with home buyers, home sellers, and build new construction homes. 
so they really are seeing all angles of the real estate industry from existing homes, investment properties, and new construction. Contact Kester Homes at 217-390-5953 or visit online at kesterhomes.com. That's K-O-E-S-T-E-R homes.com. Kester Homes is a licensed real estate broker with the Keller Williams the Real Estate Center of Illinois. Welcome back, everybody, to Back Roads and Bar Stools. Keith Gibson here with you, my good friend Zach Tompkins. Zach's going to take us out today with his brand new single. What's it called? It's uh, Shine Your Light. Shine Your Light. You can pick it up March 9th, pre sale February 9th, and he's going to take us out. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next Wednesday night, Back Roads and Bar Stools. Oh, man. The pain that you've been gone sitting in the day and here. Well, I sit looking for strength and redwoods and bourbon, but all well, I need is to know that you're up there smiling down on me. Shine your light as you learn down tonight. Then give me peace as I rest my head tonight. Then tell me now, are you proud when you learn down and see the things you left left behind? And he'll on in me. Burn down. I hate this come again, but not to rescue me. It just brings the fear of who, who I need to be. But I know that you're gonna be here all along the way Till I see you again in the presence of His grace So shine your light that you learn down tonight and give me peace as I rest my head tonight. But tell me now, are you proud when you look down and see the things you left, left behind that live on in me? Daddy knew you still hear these words I pray to you. But I'm begging you to guide me on this journey till it's through. And shine your light as you hunt down tonight. And give me peace. As I rest my head tonight, but tell me now, are you proud when you look down and see the things you left, left behind that live on in me?